So a very warm welcome to you all today to Brussels, wherever you are. Um, we, this is our first workshop on power losses and we have a very distinguished uh, set of panellists and speakers here today. We have quite a number of people registered literally from all over the world. Uh, I know the, there doesn't seem to be so many in the room yet, but we do have a lot of people following worldwide. We have 26 countries following this, which is quite incredible. Um, so you don't have to pack all the engineers into a, a room now that we can follow it using live, live web streaming. Could we have an echo? Okay, so what are we going to talk to about today? Um, we're going to talk about power losses. Um, and we want to present to you the work that we're doing on our benchmarking of power losses. Now this is work that's ongoing and we'll present to you today some initial findings of a study that we've conducted with our own national regulatory authorities but that's only one part of it so um, we have some interesting results to share and when we talk about power losses we're obviously this you know when you're talking about benchmarking well the first thing is what are we benchmarking so you have to define what you're benchmarking and that of course we get to a situation where is it clear what we're benchmarking? How do people define losses? Is it physical losses, the technical losses, or is it also the non-technical losses, the commercial losses? So we'll have some interesting insights on how people define losses and how they calculate the losses and what's the value of losses. So what are the actual levels of losses? Um, before we get on to that, we, we're going to get some very interesting insights from the network operators who are ultimately responsible in many countries for the losses. So we're going to have a view, first of all, from the TSO from Austria, and very warm welcome to, to, to Christian uh, Todem, who's going to share with us a very novel approach that um, is in Austria, where they have coordinated procurement of losses. So we're going to hear about that. And we have two colleagues who are joining us as well from, um, from Spain. And they come from, um, from the fourth largest uh, DSO in Spain. And they're going to present us a very interesting study that they've done, um, Visco and, and ABB, on distribution generation. And what's the correlation there between increased, say, penetration of wind and losses? Is there any correlation? And what are the challenges for the network operators? So that's like a very interesting study we're going to hear about today. Um, then Michael uh, uh, and Augie will go to um, share with you the initial findings of our own benchmarking exercise and get your feedback, which will help us continue that exercise, because the second stage is to um, survey external stakeholders and not just listen to the regulators. There's no point in just listening to ourselves. So we'll present initial um, results for you. So you'll get a, an, an idea of where, where we're at. Um, and then we're going to have a very interesting um, perspective as well from Portugal on, on procurement. Because often, and in most cases, um, it's the TSOs the, and the distribution system operators that are responsible for the losses. Um, and they procure um, for to cover the losses. But in Portugal, as in some other countries, my own in, in, in included, we, um, we, there's a novel situation again where the responsibility actually lies in the suppliers. So they inject enough energy into the system to cover the losses. So we're going to see how that's working out in Portugal and to share that perspective with you today. There's going to be plenty of opportunity for questions and answers. I know you don't want to be sitting there and listening uh, so it is a workshop, it's interactive, and so we want to get you engaged. So I think the, our, our speakers are very happy to hear any questions you have, um, either during the presentation or and we'll, we'll, we'll take an opportunity immediately after each presentation as well. Um, but just to warm us up maybe, anyone got any idea uh, who has the highest losses in the world? Who, who in this room thinks that their country has the highest losses. Shout out a number and we'll try and guess where you're from. Do you know your, the level of losses for your own country? Anyone can have a go? 
You're all very quiet this morning. We're going to have to wake you up. Okay. Yes. Okay, 4%. 4%. Yes. Okay. Anyone higher than 4%? Okay, now we're getting into it. Okay, very good. That's that's absolutely true. And and you know we have some countries, uh, you know, the Ukraine hit twenty percent some years ago. It's a massive issue in some countries, and there's different reasons for it. And so today we're talking about solutions, not about just about how to measure, but any novel solutions that you can come up with. So please make the context. You all have badges. Get to know each other, and please share your experiences.